What's up champ, I'm Vince Delmonte of GeneExpressionTraining.com. In this video, we are gonna show you three simple steps to shatter your squat plateau. Now these steps can apply to other exercises in the gym as well, whether it's the bench press, your deadlift, the principles I'm gonna teach you are overarching. All right, I'm also gonna show you some footage here from my current training cycle so you can see what these exercises look like, these techniques, these tactics that I'm gonna share with you. So before we get into the three steps here, you guys know I've got a lot more to offer you than just like tips and tricks. I wanna offer you the right mindset. And one of the stupidest things I'm seeing online these days are like Instagram posts and Facebook posts where guys are saying, I'm going to the gym to uh, today to declare war on my body. What do you mean you're going to declare war? <laughs> We're not, you don't need to declare war on your body to make progress. When you go to war, people actually get killed. You know, you don't need to go to the gym with the mentality that you're gonna destroy your body. I'm gonna crush my body. I'm gonna go into beast mode. I'm gonna go into punisher mode. I'm gonna go into annihilation mode. This is all stupidity. This is all coming from guys that have one mode when it comes to transforming their body. And if we use the car analogy, it's gas pedal. This is the mindset of people that only know that there's a gas pedal in the car. It's gas pedal, gas pedal, harder, harder, harder. Guys, there's also a brake, there's also a steering wheel. If you wanna to get to your destination safely, let me ask you, do you need to learn how to use a steering wheel? Yes. Do you need to learn how to use the brakes? Yes. All right, so gas pedal is just one tool to get the car to where you want to go. So keep that analogy in mind when I'm sharing this because if you're one of those meatheads that's just looking for that like, you know, pump you up, just go harder. It's like, I'm, I'm going as hard as I can. I don't know if I can go any harder. Then keep watching this video because this is for guys that want to train smarter, all right? I know you can train hard. I believe that you're training hard. However, we can only go so hard in the gym and that's where these tips come in. So let's dive in. Um, tip number one, if you wanna break your plateau with a back squat, we are gonna stop back squatting for an entire eight week cycle. All right, so that is the first thing because what happens is your body plateaus to certain exercises. So tip number one is to simply stop back squatting and we're just gonna make up a, a, a cycle phase length here and we'll just do eight weeks. So I hit a plateau on my back squat in my last eight week training cycle. I got up to 365 for a couple reps and I just, I can't get, I can't add more weight to the bar, hit a plateau. So what I'm doing now is I'm doing no back squatting for eight weeks and I'm doing two new exercises to strengthen components of the squat that I need to break that plateau. All right, so we always have to look at our goals in context from like a 10,000 foot mountain and not with like a little tiny microscope, all right, or else you fail to see the big picture. So tip number one here is for the next eight weeks, you're gonna start front squatting, all right? So no more back squatting, you're gonna start front squatting. I'm gonna start showing you some footage here of a current squat workout from my current program and in this particular workout, I'm doing five sets of two. And one of the key things of this workout is to do a two second pause in the bottom position. So here you can see me on my first set here. Um, I'm working up to uh, a personal best actually today and I'm adding about five, 10 pounds to the bar from set to set. I'm just doing doubles here, but the big thing I'm focusing on is getting strong in the bottom position, all right? There's a purpose to this workout. I'm not here to destroy my body. I'm focusing on getting stronger in the bottom position. So a two second pause. All right, and that's the key to this training cycle because when I go back to back squatting, I'm now gonna have new musculature available to crash through and to shatter that plateau. So in this particular workout, you've seen me, I'm working up to 285 pounds. This is actually a personal best I got on camera here. And um, we hit 285 for two reps. I know it's not the perfect form, but it felt good, it felt safe, I felt strong. You know, notice I don't wear knee wraps or, or anything around my waist, is this is just raw, this is how I lift. I like the heel lifts for the Adidas, Adidas Pro power lifting shoes. That's the only thing that I have here that helps me fold up a little better. But that's it, this training cycle is all front squats on Tuesday, okay? So this is one of my leg workouts. On Thursday, 
Um, I come back and I train legs again and I do speed squats. As you can see in this video here, I've got the bands attached at the bottom and this is a great way to learn how to get out of the bottom. So workout one was focusing on getting strong and hanging out in the bottom. Workout two for legs in this phase is dedicated to getting out of the bottom. Okay, so this is how I'm gonna break my plateau. I'm strengthening aspects of my body that haven't been attended to in my previous training cycle. So you have to look at your goals in terms of steps. Every step is building towards the next one. And that's why I just wanted to film this video here and just kind of give you guys some ideas to incorporate. And you know, this workout here, what I'm doing is 10 sets of two with 45 second rests. All right? and. Um, it's a really powerful way to learn how to become explosive out of the bottom because those bands are gonna challenge you at a point of the strength curve where you're typically weaker and that you haven't attended in your previous um, training program. So these are my three steps. If you wanna shatter your strength plateau with the squat, again, this, these principles can apply to other body parts. We're gonna do three things. Um, I should have had the bonus thing at the start there, which is that stimulation mindset. We need a we just gotta stimulate the muscles. We just gotta uh, think strategically in terms of strengthening weak links. We don't need to go to the gym and declare war on our body. This is not war. <laughs> We're trying to build an aesthetic body, all right? When people go to war, sometimes they don't come back. And if this is your mentality in the gym to like kill your body, you may get killed. You might end up on a surgeon's table, I'm serious. I'm not being exact, I'm not exaggerating. A lot of guys in their mid 20s who go to the gym are causing more harm than good. I kid you not. I look at the way they train and I'm like, he would be better off not being in the gym today. He's actually causing more and wear, more and wear and tear to his hips, his spine, his ankles, his knees, and he doesn't know yet, but he will find out in five, 10 years from now. All right? So we gotta get rid of that annihilation mindset and we gotta embrace the stimulation mindset, all right? Two, we're gonna just stop the exercise that's no longer progressing for us, okay? We're gonna drop the exercise, we will bring it back, and we're gonna focus on back squat, we're gonna stop back squats, we're gonna do front squats, okay? Two, front squatting for eight weeks, we're gonna do something like uh, five sets of two, with a full rest, three to four minute rest in between exercises, with, again, very important, that two second pause in the bottom position. All right, and then we're gonna have another day in the week where we do speed squats, a workout like 10 sets of two, 45 second rest, and that's gonna help us get out of the bottom, all right? And that's it. So what I wanna give you guys for everybody that wants to really follow this is I've got an eight week program that will show you how to progress these, because I don't want you doing five sets of two for the entire program or 10 sets of two for the entire program. Uh, we're gonna actually change it from week to week. So what I've done is I've created just a little cheat sheet and all you gotta do is click the link on the screen, it'll take you to a page and it's just like a one pager, it'll show you exactly how to progress this over eight weeks for sets, reps, rest periods, tempo, and um, it's done for you. So just print it off, uh, download it, add it to your phone, and then you're good to go. All right, if you're watching this video on your phone, you can't click that link, click the first link in the description, it'll take you to the same page and I'll give you this uh, squat uh, busting cheat sheet, whatever we're gonna call it here, and uh, you can get this as well. Just a little gift for you so that you guys, obviously this is a niche video, so uh, for somebody who's watched this video to the end, I assume you're serious about like following this through, so it's just something I wanted to do for you. So take advantage of it, and I think that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching for, um, Holy crap, I'm talking way too fast here today. Thank you so much for watching this video and uh, let me know what topics you want to cover in future videos in the comment section below. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And as always, be sure to subscribe to the channel because um, YouTube's changed the rules. If you're not subscribed and got your notifications on, you won't get notified when new videos are uploaded, okay? So you're gonna fall behind and you're not gonna be up to date with my newest and latest tips and tricks to help you guys achieve your best body. See you guys next time.